We're back in the garage working on the 351 Windsor. This is my Ford small block. Just doing a real budget rebuild, rings and bearings, hone the cylinders, got some decent heads for it. We're gonna put a cam in it and then someday we'll jam it in this F-250. In part one, we honed the cylinders. We put new main bearings in and dropped the crankshaft in. New rear main. We also cleaned and put new rings on these old pistons. We were in the process when one of these fell off the table. This is that one. It knocked a chunk off of it. This morning I took a closer look at it and just, you know, knocked some of the high spots off so it's nice and smooth. Whoa, almost fell off the table. <laughs> you're probably asking yourself, Evan, you're not gonna put that piston back in the motor, are you? I don't know. This is the dilemma. Ordered one piston from Summit for a 351. Windsor. I was very excited. Opened up the box. Said, hey, look, a piston. Wait a second. And then this is what I got. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Um, these are not the same. Okay, so the skirt's a different length and shape and yeah, like is different there you're like okay whatever but that's one thing but if you also look at the the ring location on this is completely different the top ring is lower there's more space there than there each ring it looks like it's thick it looks like it has different rings it's different this is a different piston actually the dish is a little bit smaller on this one see this is this is the issue do I run the broken piston and just pretend everything's fine? Compression ratio is the same. It's it's th the original piston. Run this and forget about it. Point is, I think I'm just gonna put the the old one back in. I'm not I'm not that patient, honestly. Too long. Too. It's gotta get back together. Gotta put it back together. Gotta build it. Gotta build the motor. Put it in the truck. You know what I mean? I get hung up on these things. Oh, I could do this, I could do that. What about this, what about that? And that's, you gotta think about it. But at a certain point, you just gotta make a decision. Keep pressing forward. So we're doing that. We're gonna put the broken piston back in the motor and just hope it doesn't blow up and saw the block in half, okay? These are all marked. Just push them out. Boom. Wipe her down. Here's some carb cleaner. Factory fresh. Just press them in. And... Boom. Put that on for safekeeping. I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Wipe down the cylinders. WD-40 in there. Do both sides. Move this guy up. Seems to work better. Ring gaps. One's this way, one's the opposite way. Let me give this a little squirt. Some motor oil here. I'm gonna put it in the motor for uh, oiling, mainly. Primarily oiling, secondarily performance. Bingo! I'm going to check what the breakaway torque is. It's right at 20 foot pounds. I think it's time to put this camshaft in. Well, here's this camshaft. Do a little flyby. Oh, well, it's a part number P PCE249.10.1. Part number PCE249. 1015. Alright. What do you think of this camshaft? I'm gonna hose this thing down, wipe off all the crap, and then drench it in um, some sticky red oil.
kind of looks like this concrete anchor. This is a concrete anchor and a cam install tool, so. All right, we're torquing these main caps. 100 foot pounds, I'm gonna go 50, 70, 100. We're gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna go three, four, two, five, one. 50. Nice consistent pull. Gives you an accurate reading. Main caps are torqued. Now let's do the rods. Just start at one end. And it still spins. That's nice. Main caps, connecting rods. It's all torqued. Spin it. I'm gonna get the cam thrust plate, which I think is 10 foot pounds, which is like nothing, which is also known as that. That's torque. Getting ready to put the lifters in. We got some roller lifters. This roller setup is kind of why I got this motor. Put these little dog bone retainers on. This is the oil pump gasket. Put a little ultra black on there. I wanna line this thing up. You can see it's a little off. I mean, theoretically, you could put it on like that and you're you're not getting full oil flow. That is something you do not wanna do. Stick it so it's nice and lined up. So we go like this. There you have it. Small block forward back together. 351 Windsor. Short bed conversion? 